I would assume, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I assume there would be some sort of cost savings by doing less filter changes. But other than potential cost savings, maybe you could talk to that. What other benefits did you find to perhaps your tenants and or your team as well by doing yeah. less? Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm a little surprised because as we, we talked about the bold statements, I didn't expect any of them to come true. Uh, so I was a little surprised uh, that, that as many of them came true and as, as significant as they were. Uh, one of the biggest thing was uh, building operators and building capacity with the team. Uh, in, in the past, we would do filter changes four times a year uh, mm -hmm. every quarter. And the building operator would have to order the filters, wait for them to be delivered, find somewhere to store them once they got there, and then haul them up onto the roof and get ready to do the, the changes. And, and a great example is uh, one of the properties, or two of the properties that we had were strip malls. And the, the one property had 96 or rooftop units on it, and the other one had, I believe, was 84. Uh, for the for the building operator to get the filters, get them to the roof, start installing them, uh, and and complete the, all of those rooftop units while still doing his regular job and getting called away for you know for emergencies or tenant comfort issues or that sort of thing, you know it could take a couple of weeks of his time to to get that done. Mm -hmm. uh, with with changing them once a year, suddenly we've saved you know six weeks of his of his time. So we built capacity within the team and allowed the team to, to really focus on some of the, the customer service issues that are really important to our tenants.